listen, final preparations are underway for the Academy Awards in LA tomorrow, and there's talk in Hollywood circles about the decline of movies. The big hits are now coming from streaming services. It's so true. And maybe COVID expedited that too, Prue, because we did not go to the cinema and we started to hook up with all these streaming services. And so many houses have media rooms now. Everybody yeah. seems to have the very latest big screen and sound system. And why would you be slugged, what, 25 bucks or even more if you want to go into gold cinema? And a choc pop, choc, what is choc it? Choc top is so outrageous. <laughs> so I mean, for goodness sake, do it at home or not Netflix or whatever. <laughs> Much cheaper. Lisa, do you care about the Oscars? <laughs> I remember it used to be compulsory viewing. Is it still? Well, I've covered the Oscars. I was at the Oscars for three times, and I can tell you, it is not a ladylike gown sort of event that you think it is. As, as a journo, you're on the sidelines, bleachers, screaming out at the top of your lungs for Nicole Kidman and every other Aussie to run past to, to try to come over for an interview. And I think, really, these days, it's not much more than a fashion parade. It's because, as you say, we're all at home. We're not going to the cinema. We're all no. at home watching movies at home with you know, more streaming services than we can imagine. And if you look at... I, I did some digging around. If you look at the share price, Netflix is over $300. US a share and Time Warner is down under a hundred. So that's wow. that's mm, proof point it. of where people are actually spending their coin. And the that Os is a great yeah. The Oscars are so goddamn boring too. They just they go on false forever. false Yankees backslapping <laughs> each other. And, long. and the PC stuff. Oh yes. for God's sake.